so students today we will discuss about the uses of dimensions with some examples for class 11 uses of dimensions first dimensional formula as i told you in the previous video we will write dimensional formula of any given physical quantity like force acceleration velocity force mlt minus 2 acceleration velocity lt minus 2 it is the first use it is first use of dimensions second use to check the correctness second use dimensional analysis for this for this we put the dimension of all quantities in both the side left hand as well as right hand. if both side are equal then formula is correct example first equation of motion v equals u plus kt we put the dimensions lt minus 1 velocity initial velocity again lt minus 1 acceleration lt minus 2 and time t t to the power minus 2 and plus 1 so here will be t t to the power minus 1 lt minus 1 plus lt minus 1 so it is 2 lt minus 1 as dimension of both the sides are equal so formula is correct equation is correct right both sides are equal third was to derive formula or establish relation to derive formula let force depend force applied on a body force depends on m to the power x mass to the power x and acceleration a to the power y of a body when we apply a force on a body of mass m then it will start to move its velocity changes due to change in velocity acceleration is generated so force will depend on mass and acceleration thus thus a proportional m to the power x a to the power y or we use a constant f equals k m to the power x a to the power y equation first what is k here here k is a dimensionless constant dimensionless constant now we will put dimension of all the quantities in this equation first mlt minus 2 equals m to the power x a lt minus 2 acceleration and its power y solve it m to the power x l to the power y and t to the power minus 2y now we will compare the powers of both the sides by comparison of power x and here is 1 m to the power x equal 1 equation 2 y equals 1 equation 3 and minus 2y equals minus 2 again y equals 3 so now 
we will put value of x and y in equation first. From equation 1, 2 and 3, x1, y1, f equals km. By practicals, k comes 1. So, f equal m. Again, first we find that this quantity depends on other. So, we will make a relation like this that f depends on this and this and this, not more than three quantities. And use a proportional constant dimensionless. We will put the dimension of both the side. Then compare the powers, we will find the value of x, y, z and again put in equation first, we get the formula in this manner. There are, these are three main uses of dimensions.